Barbara Hake. I'm an artist and uh, I wanted to teach people how to start a portrait. Uh, you don't just start a portrait, you have to prepare for it and a lot of times uh, no matter how good an artist you are, if you don't prepare for it, uh, it goes wrong and then you have to start over. And you could just repair your painting and fix your painting for so long and then you actually destroy the spontaneity of it. So the way I do it is I try to get all my measurements first, which uh, that's the time consuming part and that's what you need to take the time to do. Uh, in order to prepare for a painting, uh, these are the things I use. They're very simple. I buy uh, soft vine char charcoal and hard charcoal and uh, these little slivers of charcoal uh, and I bought um, an expensive caliper which is what you use to uh, measure with this is a caliper and you could adjust this one it has measuring um, like like say you want to take a small photo and paint a big photo you would adjust the measurements with this one but I find I use um, this little cheap one I bought at, uh, I, um, I don't know, I might have even bought it at a, I think I bought it at a department store like uh, Walmart or one of those places. It's a small caliber set and uh, it has everything you need for measuring in it. Uh, this one, see, this one's called, uh, it's by Stad, Stad Litter. Anyway, I use a, uh, this is my favorite tool, <laughs> my ruler. And I use a clear one so I can see through it. And um, I just wanted to show you what I started out with and uh, what I keep in my uh, drawing box. Um, this is my friend. And she's learning how to do portraits too. So I asked her to send a picture of her so I could uh, do a little video on how I would get started. Now, uh, this is my practice session. So I, I got a piece of uh, Canson Mean Tente's <laughs> pastel paper. I keep a tablet on hand uh, because I am a pastel artist by, uh, that's my primary medium. And it has a, a, a little, uh, little bit of texture to it, and it works good with the charcoal, but any drawing tablet will do. And the idea is to work out the measurements on the paper, and then when you uh, go to work in your medium, like say it's oils, then you could transfer this picture onto your canvas uh, and you don't have to do a lot of work on your canvas. Uh, all you need is the measurements. So I took the photo she sent me and changed it to black and white, and you just need to print it out. Now I looked at it and I thought, you know, that's going to be a little bit too small for the size paper. So I uh, did a, I zoomed in on it, and uh, then I printed the clipped version, which made her face bigger, which uh, makes for a better portrait. So, but I just wanted to show you, uh, because I couldn't show you on my computer, um, and you don't have to do a real good printout, you just need uh, something that you can measure from. Uh, she took a really good picture because uh, her face is in shade and light, and uh, I recommend that uh, uh, when you're going to do somebody's portrait, you ask them to get a good uh, professional photograph first, or have them come sit with uh, with you, uh, put them next to a window that has uh, a good, uh, like, like mine faces east, uh, and I so I fill with this uh, light over here, uh, but if you have a, a window where you get uh, some nice light coming through and you get light on one side of the face, it'll point out the features better, like uh, she did. See, she's got light on one side of her face, which is going to make it easier to see her features. Okay, now I'm going to start the drawing.
when I'm getting ready to draw a portrait, I pull out my uh, transparent ruler and I line it up with the photo that uh, we have to work from. First, I had changed the photo to black and white because I was going to work with charcoal to practice. And um, I'm just lining up the eyes. Essentially, you just uh, line up the top of the face with the bottom of the chin. And then you fit the face inside those measurements. And you do have to find approximate sp spot where the eyes are. So I use my transparent ruler to just take measurements. And um, I'm still working with, I haven't got my measurements yet. Now I'm slapping on some charcoal. <laughs> Don't let it scare you because it smears. It does everything you want it to. Uh, here I put my eyes, nose, and mouth. And now I'm going to add a little bit of tone so I have something to work with. I have some rubber gloves on because charcoal is pretty dirty. I'm just looking uh, for patterns in her face, patterns of light and patterns uh, of a darker value. And uh, I'm working, <clears throat> I'm just working with three values, the uh, darkest, uh, the mid-tones, and uh, the light. Essentially, what I measured was um, the height and width of the face, and then I fit the features into that height and width. If you do the uh, outside of the head, uh, it's a little more difficult to fit everything in. It's best to, uh, it's more proportioned if you uh, measure from your photograph and then use those same measurements for the paper. And uh, then it's just a series of adding and taking away and moving things with the, the charcoal. The charcoal moves really easy on paper and uh, you can move it around with your fingers or with um, a stump and you could blend with your fingers and it's very um, easy to take off. I use a either a kneaded eraser or a little eraser that I could cut with it, my uh, razor blade or uh, my X-Acto knife uh, to a smaller, uh, you'll see me use it later. I didn't get to finish this whole drawing uh, with this uh, filming. I finished the whole drawing, but I ran out of uh, space on my on my little uh, DVD card. I just put the wrong one in, but I think I get most of it done here. And then I'll I'll put a pic a photo of the finished uh, drawing at the end that I took with my camera. So it'll look kind of strange to you because it'll have different lighting. It's a good example of how the different cameras um, have uh, different lighting. Now this I'm using my, um, oh, I forget what kind of camera that is, darn it. I'm using my little video camera and it takes pretty accurate color, so. I like to use it for when I'm filming a uh, painting. But with a black and white drawing, it doesn't really matter which camera I film with. It'll just be black and white, except the paper will change color. <laughs> uh, well, I got pretty far. I thought I didn't get too much of it, but uh, there was a lot of fine tuning at the end that I don't think I got. This whole painting took about, I mean, this whole drawing took about two hours because there's a lot of adjusting you have to do and stepping back. I had to walk away from it for a few minutes, come back. Um, I didn't have her uh, contrast high enough. Um, her face is a lot darker on the right side. So um, uh, you don't get to see me do that though. 
Okay, now I gotta 